Hello. Today I'm going to be covering how to select similar objects and apply a your UVs ultimately to those similar objects. Now this is great for objects, for example, like this simple fuse box that I've made. Uh, we've got heaps of objects uh, like this, like this, like this, like this. Now, just bearing in mind for the future of this video, these are slightly different. You can probably see the uh, sizing is a little bit different. So this is going to show uh, that it's not going to work for items that aren't, you know, pretty much the exact same. Uh, but it's a great tool. And for items like this, it is going to heavily speed up your process. Now, getting into it, I'm just going to go into my edge select mode. And I'm just going to select my edges around here. Oops. Make sure I select all that object. I'm going to press C to cut. I have it set up so I can press 4, but I believe the default is F4 to go into UV select. Uh, I can unwrap it there. And we've got our basic uh, we've got our basic um, item here. Oops. Press the right button. Sorry, there we go. Now, what we're going to be doing to grab the rest of these is over here in this tab called similar. We can select similar and then we can apply similar. Um, I believe if I just go apply similar there, uh, that's great for selecting similar, but if you want to just apply what you've already done, I can go there, drag them around, uh, you know, uh, pack them all and stuff like that. Super simple, super easy. Uh, I could even go here and I believe this is stack and group. And so here we've gone and stacked them all on top of each other. And it's going to save up your time heaps. So just covering that again. Um, let's say I wanted to do the same thing for these ones. Go into your edge mode. Uh, select your edges. Press C. Or you can just press C when you're hovering over edges. Um, island mode. You can... I will probably unwrap it, orient it so everything's all set up already. And then from here, we can update the similar objects. And then from there, we can stack them all onto each other. Oops. And from there, we can once again select. And we've got all of our, our objects, as you can see, stacked, set up. Wow. Super simple, super easy. I think that's just such a massive time saver and completely worth doing. Uh, yeah, ultimately, that's a great tool. And one of the one of the big reasons is why I like Ryzen UV so much. It saves heaps of time. And I don't know if any other tool has it. I know Maya's got a pretty built out UV editor, but I don't even know if it even Maya has that in it. But yeah, ultimately, love that. Great. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. And yeah. Have a good one. See you.